Hi friends. I have a really bad migraine, but I also have mail. So here we are. This package comes to me from Turkey. Some of you know already what it must be. Um, or at least what it, who, who it must be from, eh? I think there was an easier way to open this. But I got myself something nice. So, what could it possibly be? Should we start with a little, a little boxes? So, I got ink. I was only going to get one of these bottles of ink, but then I thought, if I'm ordering this whole way, and these inks are somewhat hard to get, I might as well get them both. So, they're both Troublemaker inks. I got Polar Lights and box gloves. So, we'll go ahead and do swatches. I'm back at, like, old school camera style because, um... I thought it might work better for this. We'll see if that's true. I did not grab all of the requisite supplies, so let's do that. Okay. I still didn't really get everything I could possibly use, but I don't care. Do I? No. Yes, one of those inks that just does not want to come onto this nib. This is going to be awkward. I have swatched this before. Got it in an ink flight.
Mm -hmm. I think the worst thing about having a migraine is I'm not going to get in any kind of walk today because I have to take the morning off. This is not the worst thing. <laughs> it's another bad thing that you might not immediately think of. And this ink, we have to shake. So I think I got these both in an ink fight and I love this one so much that when I decided to make this other purchase, I thought, well, go on then. These inks are not incredibly expensive. So we have foxglove and polar lights. I'm gonna let these dry. It's easy to think, oh, it wasn't that pretty. Then you see it again and you're like, oh yeah, it was. <laughs> sun is like right in my eyes which is you can imagine is fantastic for when you have a migraine sun doesn't usually bother me as much as artificial lights though I probably sound really like low energy and like I'm not excited but I am really excited <laughs> and I did swatch these on tomorrow river paper so we'll see that if I remember, we'll see that. And then, this big old box. So, I will admit, I would have liked this better if it was in the, un, uh, it was like the natural leather, but they didn't have it, and I'm impatient. So, a sturdy box. Oh yeah, friends. I 
I got a big old pen case. So the zipper sticks on. It's padded. A little bit hard to unzip. I might put beeswax on here. Oh, they're a little goodie bag. Let's look in here. Earl Grey. A lavender refreshing towel. Some instant Turkish coffee. An evil eye charm. You probably saw this, but 10% off coupon. Which you probably could have used, but I didn't. A Noah's Ark postcard. Handwritten. The beauty you see in me is a reflection of you. It's nice. And then a note. And I love the color of this bag, this beautiful blue. Very sweet additions. And then we have, so this, this leather is really stiff, which of course it is, but it'll loosen up. We have some pin loops here, 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 and here. So this is a 40 pin organizer because that might be a thing I have. <laughs> Testing out some different pins to see if they fit. I feel like that one doesn't want to go in the end. They do. Even this chonker. I don't think I'll try my little fat man pin in my Moon Man is it the Q1. I don't think I will try and fit that in here. But even this Jin Hao 159 fits. It's snug, obviously. And, and it fits, there you go, with a pin in between those two. So now, now I have the arduous task of figuring out which of my pins goes in here, what sort of organization I have. I do think that wherever this pin ends up, it's got to be its permanent place because it's stretching out the elastic. I'll probably put it somewhere, you know, like over here in the, in the end or something because I don't use this one that often. And maybe I'll put it in here this way. Yeah, I think that's better. Because this end will be easier to get to. So anyway. Smells like leather. It has more subtle stitching on it on the inside at least, than I'd have expected. And I wonder if they actually just sewed it by a machine. I think maybe they did and not didn't do the saddle stitch, which is fine. That's, you don't need to. So now our swatches have dried. So here is Fox Glove, which is purple, everyone. It's not blue. Purple and then pink up here. And there is a blue line across there. And we have polar lights, which to me looks kind of like a warm gray, like a charcoal with 
like multicolor sheen. I see. Well, maybe the sheen is all like a tealy color, a greeny teal, but up here it looks almost pink. So perhaps it's actually like holographic or duochrome. And then our swatches on Tomoe River paper. Not totally dry. But very pretty. So this is a very exciting mail day. And now I'm going to go make a cup of tea. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. Have a good day. Bye.